what's up it's holy and we're back with another video this video is going to be how to make frank dukes melodies melodies like frank dukes insane compositions like him he's a super talented producer slash composer uh, he plays many instruments and his style all over the place really his style summed up he makes his sounds his newer sounds sound vintage and then he adds like newer elements to them so he kind of combines like the 1960s 70s sound of music into the new sound of music by using like vintage tape recorders and a whole bunch of vintage equipment a common element in his uh, melodies and stuff is guitar or live instruments he also has analog synths which are like omnisphere but on a keyboard type of thing <laughs> so like i can i'll throw some on the screen like the prophet 6 that's like a classic i have the prophet rev 2 uh 16 voice there's a ob6 i think <clears throat> there's a bunch of synths um but they're like the actual keyboard version the analog ones those are like the physical keyboards with the sound banks in them all right look 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 so let's get straight to the the loop we have a few sounds open So now we're gonna mess with uh wow we're gonna mess with velocities so that way it doesn't sound so generic and maybe change the strum time just a little bit so we're gonna lower this like this uh control left click drag to select multiple notes and then you can uh control shift and click or drag and select specific notes I'm gonna drag down the velocity, right click to deselect, right down velocities. I just found a cool sounding amp. All right, so I slowed the tempo from, let's see, 154 to 124. So I dropped it 30 BPM and I found a cool little amp thing. Let's drop this in the little playlist. <gasps> oh my gosh, what's happening? All right, we're gonna go to Hall of Flame, Scotty Creative Kit, go to his uh, creative little texture joints. Take a little vinyl texture, pitch it down, turn it down, stretch it out, copy paste. Turn it down more. And then we're actually gonna layer it with some crackling. Do the same thing, turn it on. Uh, we're gonna use the initiation sound, the init, initial sound. Let's find a bell instead of this trash. Yeah, let's find a different bell. It's kind of dope. It's the mood a little bit. Let's add some like effects. EQ, E tune, Langus. This under the delay on kind of fire. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, this is a cool little effect, effect sound I think I remember. Alright, so let's... We're gonna cut the low end out of this so that way it doesn't interfere. Pitch, or turn it, pan it to the right a little bit. Add a stereo imager. So we're gonna go to synth bases and try to find like a not too synthy synth base. Uh, that didn't even make sense. We're just gonna listen to, we're just gonna play some, some stuff. Let's just put the bass notes and then pitch it up. Let's try that. I think this can sound pretty dope. If I if I do this right, I'm gonna add some animations for the delay three. We're gonna do high pass. Turn the level up, cut off a little bit, and then we're going to do some animations. Kind of build suspension towards like the end of a bar. And we'll have some that don't go all the way up. Until the end. Mmm, I like that. Then we'll have one that doesn't even go all the way up, just kind of halfway there. I kind of want like a lead type of thing, but not your typical lead. Something that sounds kind of realistic. And we're gonna layer this sound with a, like a, maybe a flute. Uh, okay, go to all. And we're gonna type wind again. Kind of mess with that no cap. We're gonna run that back. Run that back turbo. Okay. Yeah, add some cool effects on that. Like first, we're gonna slide this over because I want it to be. Yo, bro, what? And so throw some reverb on it. I want it to be a little bit softer and then we can add some like tremolo on it modulation let's try this So if you have a single effect that you want to drag over to something else, you can, okay, you can click on this drop down arrow on the left of the title. Then you can uh, go to save preset as, and then drag it to whatever mixer channel you want. Bada boom, bada bing. You copy and pasted the same exact preset over to another channel. And if you want to do multiple, you can go right click on the mixer channel that has the effects on it that you want to put on something else. And then you can click on the save mixer track as, or I guess you can shift control S and then drag it to whatever one you desire. And then you got all the plugins moved over to the one that you want. All right, so now let's find a flute thing that we're talking about. We're just gonna type in flute, honestly, because I think we can put enough effects on it or whatever to, ooh, maybe they have a flute in there. No, why would they do that?
right, so I'm sorry about the clipping and everything. I think what we're gonna do is export these as waves, wave files real quick, and then bring them back in. Then we're gonna track it out, and I'll play the little loop for you at the end. So, BRB. You make sure you go cop the loop kit in the description right now. 10 loops with stems for $10. All of them made by me, no samples. All right, but anyway, shout out to you guys for showing so much support. I appreciate every single one of you. I remember all of you guys. I always answer comments. So if you guys have any recommendations for the next videos, any video ideas, I will definitely take them into consideration. Let's turn on notifications so that way you can vote on polls and you can know when I post. If you're new, subscribe. If you enjoyed, hit that like button, turn on notifications, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Deuce.